Hello students, welcome back to the course. I hope that you are enjoying and benefiting from this class. In this video or lesson, we will be uh, going in an overview about the solution except blur menu. In the last or in the previous video, we talked about the toolbox menu, what is it, how we use it, the benefits and everything. And in this video, we will be talking about the solution except blur menu. Maybe it's simple for some of you, but for the rest of you, I'm sure it's not. So if you know this video, you can skip it. If it's so simple for you, you can skip it. If not, very welcome for this. And also, if you know it, I really recommend that you watch it, like, because uh, we all learn, like, you will be learning uh, along in the long of your life. So you may get some points, some tips, some useful stuff you don't know and you didn't expect that you will be learning in this lesson so the solution explorer menu basically a menu that uh, that has all the components we have in the project like how many forms we have the classes we have in the project the modules we have in the project the crystal reports and also the resources all the resources we have in the project will be in the solution explorer menu like for example the images the musics we have all will be specified in this menu uh, like as you can see that in this project for example that you are using for the for the beginning like for the beginning of this course you can see that we only have one form so in the solution explorer menu which is here I can open it and close it from here uh, we have only one form which is form one dot VB which is visual basic shortcut so we only have one form we have no resources no classes no crystal reports nothing except the only one form that it comes like normally with any project we have or any project we start so we only have one form that what we have in our solution explorer so aside that the solution explorer menu will like will display what we have in the project all the components we can also create new components from the solution explorer menu for example we can go to the project name which is windows application 7 we can right click then go to add and we can add new items we can add windows form which is the usual that's why we have it here we can user control component module class anything and we can also go to new item so we can choose from a very long list like we can pick anything we know or anything we need to add to the project from here like the service database we can add style sheets splash screen text file we can go up so we can see Windows form which is the common items the module the ribbon form the office form the metro user experience app form and a lot of options so let us just recap it very quickly the solution explorer menu will display what the components we have in the project such as the forms classes modules the the resources such as the images the song, the music and everything and we can also use the solution explorer menu to add new components to the project such we can we can use it to add forms we can use it to add new classes we can use it to add new modules we can add, use it to add and and and, and like this so I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and it was very simple and easy for you and I hope that you benefited from it. So good luck, share it with your friends and see you in the next lecture. Bye.